question, we're going to find the gradient of the tangent to the curve at the point 1, 4. So what I've just done over here is a quick sketch, just so you can visualize better what's going on, of a curve with a tangent, okay? Now, the tangent is just a straight line that touches the curve in one place, okay? So in this question, they intersect at the point 1, 4. Hopefully, you can see from this sketch that at that point 1, 4, the tangent and the curve have exactly the same gradient, okay? They have the same slope. So if we can work out the gradient of the curve at this point, we're also working out the gradient of the tangent, which is what they've asked us to do in this question, okay? So to do that, you need to take the equation of your curve, okay? So I've just rewritten it out over here. And if there are brackets in the equation, like in this one, what you have to do to start with is expand the brackets and simplify. So I'm going to multiply these brackets here by the x term at the front. So that x multiplied by 2x is 2x squared, and x multiplied by negative 1 is negative x. Now remember, you're multiplying all of this with the second bracket, so you must leave this in brackets and expand again, okay? So if I take the first term here, here 2x squared, and multiply by x, I get 2x cubed. Then 2x squared multiplied by 3 is 6x squared. Then negative x multiplied by x is negative x squared. And lastly, negative x times 3 is negative 3x. Okay, so I can see there are two like terms here, so I can simplify the x squared terms. So 2x cubed stays the same. 6x squared take away 1x squared is 5x squared. And then we have negative 3x at the end. Okay, so this is still the equation of the curve. I've just expanded the brackets and simplified. Okay, now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to differentiate. Okay, I'm going to find the derivative. Because if we work out the derivative of the curve, we're also working out an expression for the gradient of the curve. Okay, that's what the derivative is. So if I'm going to differentiate, what I have to do is take the power here on the x, so positive 3, and multiply it with the coefficient positive 2. So 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. Then this power decreases by 1, so I have x squared. Then if I look at the next term, 2 multiplied by positive 5 is 10. And again, the power decreases by 1, so I'm left with positive 1, although you don't actually have to write it, you can just leave it as x. Then if we look at the last term here, remember there's a positive 1 here that we don't write. So positive 1 multiplied by negative 3 is just negative 3. And if the power decreases by 1 here, we're left with x to the power of 0. Except anything to the power of 0 is equal to the number 1. So if this is equal to 1, negative 3 times 1 is just negative 3. So you can just leave it as negative 3 here. Okay? So this is an expression for the gradient of the curve, okay, at any point along the curve. Except we've been given a specific point in this question over here, okay? Remember, the point that they intersect is at 1, 4. So what you have to do to work out the exact gradient is take your value of x, so when x is positive 1, and substitute it into your derivative, okay? So you're just replacing these two x values with positive 1, okay? So I'm going to do that next, so that I have 6 lots of 1 squared plus 10 lots of 1 minus 3, and if I work that out, 1 squared is just 1 times 1, which is 1, and if I times that by 6, I get 6. 10 times 1 is 10, and then I'm subtracting 3. So 6 plus 10 is 16, take away 3 is 13, so this is the gradient of the curve when x is equal to positive 1. And remember what I said at the beginning, the curve and the tangent have the same gradient at this point, so the gradient of the tangent is also positive 13.